Kian Winger. Yeah. Woo! and and uh, people like songs because they're fun or they could be really sad or they could show your emotions or they could be sending a message out to the world so that's why I like songs because you could do anything with songs so uh, <clears throat> the purpose of writing songs one of the main purposes to show what's in you to show if you want the world to be something or if you don't want the world to not be something, if you're trying to tell someone something. Or to inspire others and be creative. Very important to be creative, because right now all of the music is mostly the same. Like, like there's no new lyrics on the radio. It's all the same, kind of. So I was thinking to be creative is a good thing. So that's why sometimes I just put different words that don't even rhyme. But it's nice to have a song that rhymes. So, the th following steps you'll follow is, one, you'll need a thesaurus. What is a thesaurus? A thesaurus is um, a dictionary, but it's not a dictionary. It's more for, like, writing songs. If you uh, have a word that you want to make sense in the song, like, say, cry... If you find cry in here, then you could, uh, and you don't, it doesn't rhyme with your song, and you want something that rhymes in the song, then you could look it up, cry, and there would be, like, tears, stuff like that. So that's what a thesaurus, very important, you must have a thesaurus. Um, a, two pieces of paper and a sharp pencil, yes, and, um, so... To write a good page of poetry is the best way to start with a song because then it gets your mind starting to work, get in the mode of writing songs, starts making your mind very creative. So write a good page of poetry. So um, many people have used these methods in the past centuries. It's a very good method. Um, now you can do either write the music or lyrics first myself i like writing the music first so what i do is um you can have an instrument of any kind but you just get some you just can play some chords and just have a simple line of chords like that or even two chords just about something, you would have um, what you want it to be about right in front of you. That's what I usually do. Like, say I would like my song to be about this backpack. Then I would put this backpack in front of me and then look at it, see the details about it, and then I would write about it. I would write some lyrics, just brainstorm, so write some words down about the backpack. Then you would come up with a line. So, uh, like, backpacks are cool. You can take them to school. Like, something like that. Um, uh, see, I just brainstormed that right out of it. Oh! And then, uh, so that's one of the main things. Um, <laughs> So writing songs is a great thing to do if you're on a rainy day and you can't do anything, and even on a summer day. So um, a nice place to write in is in your room, a very quiet place. If it's loud, just focus. And so um, 
if you might know these people, um, I jam with uh, Stephen Still's daughter, Jennifer Stills. She uses this method. Uh, so, thank you. Yeah. Woo!